Hi everyone. I did get my ends trim a week ago. It was actually a week ago today. And she did not do a wash and go. She asked me if she could do a twist out. So I said okay. And I have been twisting my hair up every night. Last night, I didn't put anything on it. I haven't put anything on it for a few days. And when I did last put product on, it was a product by Now I Am Nappy. It's the twist cream. And after that, my hair was feeling moisturized, so I didn't add anything else to it. She didn't cut that much, maybe a half inch. And I took a photo of the hair that was on the floor so you could see it. So I think I'm going to... Ask my mother, she's been my photographer lately, ask her if she can take photos of me today from the back and side. One of my sisters asked me to paint her purse. I did paint it and I want to post on Instagram the before and after photos. It's like a backpack purse. So pictures of me wearing it. And the purse wasn't a leather purse. I know that leather items should be painted with leather paint, but I didn't know if a bag is full leather what type of paint i should use because i was thinking just fabric paint when i went on youtube and looked at some videos the people that i watched used leather paint for faux leather bags so i was like oh okay it's good to know so I asked her what color she wanted because I have every color available. And I wanted her to choose something bright and colorful because that's what I like painting. <laughs> and the back was initially like off, off white and she asked me to paint it black. I was like, nope. Can't do it. It has to be something other than black. So at first she said yellow. I suggested blue. Since the blue isn't that far off from black. But then she asked for brown. So I was like, okay, I can do brown. <laughs> So I painted it brown with the leather paint and it came out good. You can't tell that it looked really tattered. There's no evidence that it looked like that. So I was pleased with the outcome. I think I am good with taking items that looked like they were falling apart, like someone would be ready to trash it or give it away to charity. And I can take those items and restore them or make them look better, if not new. And so I'll, I would like to do more of that. So I asked my family if you 
have any items that you were like ready to give away? Shoes, bags, belts, things like that. It's like I'll pay them. So a friend of mine also gave me a bag that she was ready to discard because it was kind of tattered. Unfortunately, I think I deleted the before photos and I didn't, I forgot to take photos after. I have a pair of shoes. that are kind of old and tattered that I would like to paint. I don't know what color yet. And a different sister gave me a pair of shoes like a year ago to paint and they were black pumps. So I was like, what color do you want that? And she said black. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was really disappointed because she always wears color. She never has on black. So why do you want your shoes black? So I wasn't that thrilled, but I did it. I painted them black. I like color. I do wear black, but I really like color. And there was a time in my life that I only wore black. My closet was full of black shoes, black skirts, black dresses, tops, pants, everything was black. Years ago, I went to work and I did have on black, but my shoes were silver. I had on a pair of silver sandals. And this guy that I work with said, Janine, it's so good to see you wearing color. And I remember being so taken aback. I didn't realize that I always had on black. But every time I went to the store and saw something that I liked, I always picked the black one. I always liked the black the best and now that's not the case I do wear color here is my final twist My hair is frizzy, which is fine with me. Thank you for watching. See you next time.